Uh, but Chris, this is a guy that is not really swinging the bat all that well here. In this situation, you have a real good opportunity to get swings and misses and record a strikeout. I think you attack him in this spot. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Ground ball right side. On to Newman. And that is that. Phillies leave a couple. They're up 2 nothing. Back here in Cincinnati, here's Nick Solak. Solak goes 5 feet 11 inches, hitting 7th in today's lineup, and they went out and made a trade for him last season. Pitch misses there, ball one. So a man on base to start the inning. When you pop a ball up like that, you don't expect it to get you a knock too often, but right there, somehow he got it to drop in behind first base, and that's where no one could get to it. And you can feel this crowd waking up a bit here as the guys are starting to make some noise with their bats. Next to hit, Spencer Steer. That one the other way. And no one can get there. Sola around third. Turner with a relay throw. Not in time. He scores. And it's a one-run game. Well, a swing like that can help you come out of the struggle. We saw the numbers coming into the ball game. But all he's trying to do at this point is help his team win. So digging in, Stuart Fairchild didn't play in last night's game. A little breather for him. Ball one there. The 1-0. That's inside. He's been raking in recent games, and a big reason why, getting ahead in counts. He's been able to do that consistently, and you see the results. 2-0. In the dirt. And an excellent job keeping it right there. It appears they're working around him with the base open, Singy. Well, you know these 2-0 counts, Boo, they're just not what they used to be, and we sound like old guys when I say that. But ultimately, this is a strategic game, and you expect to see this type of approach by the pitcher in this situation. Maybe a little loss of focus on the mound right there. Pretty much gifted in first base with a quick free pass. So the batting order turns over, and ready to hit now for Cincinnati, Kevin Newman been such a good hitter with runners in scoring position. Some guys just take it to another level. For him right now at the plate, it's like everyone else is in slow motion and he's in full speed. And this is inside. And that's in for a strike. The one one. They say you win. One ball, two strikes. The one two. Swings and misses, struck him out. The high heat, too much on that one. Thought it was a pretty good pitch. Top of the strike zone. We're seeing more fastballs in that location. Hitters, especially with two strikes, have to be ready to pull the trigger. Jonathan Indy at the plate. Rolled out to second in his first at bat. There's a strike. The last thing he wants is to hit the ball on the ground, but I wouldn't expect many pitches up in the zone. They'll be pitching for a double play in this spot.
Next offering is fouled back. And the pitch. Fouls it back with two strikes. The 0-2. And a foul ball, he stays alive. He's gone off speed. He needs to elevate here with two strikes out of the zone. At the belt and fires. Three. Strike three. Got him looking on the changeup. Just locked him up right there for the second out. And that's an bat he's probably going to be thinking about for a little while. Didn't pull the trigger. Not how you want to go down in an RBI spot. So now you got to hope your teammate behind you can pick you up. In now for the Reds, Tyler Stevenson. Grounded out his first time. And that's downstairs and outside. Two outs, a couple of base runners at first and second. In the dirt, runners hold, count moves to 2 0. And a pitch. They say it went. Two on. And that one missing low. Get ready for some action here. Good RBI guy at the plate. Runners in scoring position. And a hitter's count. Joey Votto would be next. Big bat with a potentially huge opportunity. Swings and misses and we're filled up. So both runners should be on the move here on the full count pitch. Yeah, this is a good chance to tie up this ball game. See if you can find some open grass in the outfield. The kick, the 3-2, and that'll load the bases. Well, interesting, he went with the off speed and walked the hitter. Man, you got to challenge the guy with the fastball. Two outs, bases full. And now the first baseman, Joey Votto. He's 0 for 1. You know, this is kind of a tough matchup as a left-handed hitter facing a left-handed pitcher. What you tell yourself is, I want to stay square to the plate and try to hit the ball over the shortstop's head. And first offering is fouled off. Next offering misses. One and one. Two walks in the inning already, and he just doesn't seem comfortable out there. Like he can find the right mechanics and then repeat them. Next offering is fouled back. One, two now. On the ground to the left. Turner jumps, throws. They take the force out, third out. One in the inning, and it comes from a rather unlikely power source. And the home team down to run. It's Major League Baseball on the show. Because the father never left him. Blessing. He did it for the bridge ring. Back here at Great American Ballpark, start of the fourth, and the batter now is Reese Hoskins. Reese Hoskins. The right-hander back to work. There's a strike. You know, these fills showing great discipline at the plate, and patience definitely seems to be the name of their game in this one. They're doing a good job of working the pitch count, and they've been able to push a couple of runs across to score as well. The 0-2. Swing and he breaks his back. India handles the chance, throws the first, and a quick out number one. Still relatively early, but with the pair of runs already on the board, the ripple effect of that high pitch count might set him up to do more damage later in this game. 
Josh Harrison stands in for the Phillies. He's 0 for 1. First nope. offering, and it just misses. And a pop-up, right side, foul territory. Did he trip? What happened? Sniper? Great effort. That's how bad he wanted that one. Head first dive. <laughs> Edge of the zone for a strike. One and two. Line drive. Puts it away for the out. Now that Here's Turner now. He's turned into one of the best shortstops in the game. Saying he's not just one of the fastest guys in the game, but also Trey Turner. How about those slides? Pretty cool looking. Yeah, a natural slip and slide out there on the field. And one thing that speaks to me is that he doesn't decelerate a whole lot when he's in top speed going into that slide because he goes through the bag and can end up on his feet all in one motion. Up the middle. And it gets by him. Clearly seeing the ball very well in this one. Just kept it simple, played Pepper with the middle of the infield and took it back where it came from, and there's just no one there to knock it down. Two outs, runner at first. Now the number two hitter, Alec Bohm. Three-pitch strikeout. Move over to first, trying to keep him close. In there, and it's 0-1. Oh, Right-hander right kicks, good. deals. Oh. Turner runs. Throw! Oh. See! Oh. Chris, his wheels were the difference maker on that play. Just got in there. Yeah, with StatCast's help, we see his top speed on this stolen base, and that's a big number. I mean, man, he really made his athleticism work for him on that one. That's in there, and it's one and two. Well, triple digits on the gun. I know there are more guys that can reach that now than in the past, but it's still impressive to watch. Bounced out to short. In there safely. Oh, that's a really tough play no matter who you are, but I think he has a chance to get him at first if he's just able to get that throw off a little quicker. It looked like he took one extra step to set himself and get a grip on the ball. First and third, two away. So digging in now for Philadelphia, Brandon Jordan. Outfield playing very deep, not wanting anything over their heads. A guy who makes an impact not just at the plate, but also in the field. Turner at third. Boom. At first, two out of the inning. That misses. And that's ball one. Action in the pen down there. Joel Cunell loosening up for manager David Bell. Santiago getting cranked up as well. The 1-1. One, one. Just off the outside edge. It's a big opportunity right here, but I love the way he's slowing the game down. He's shrinking his zone, making sure he gets the pitch that he wants to hit. Off the mark there. And that's ball three. First pitch strike from the pitcher, but then no panic at all by the hitter. Very patient, showing good discipline. Now he's in the driver's seat with a 3-1 count. The 3-1. Swing and a miss. Good late sink on that fastball. Out of the hand looks so good. And then by the time he gets in the hitting zone, hard to get the barrel to it. Squid out front of the plate. In plenty of time to first. 
out number three. Phillies leave a couple, but they still lead it two to one. Welcome back. And now the right fielder, Will Myers. The right fielder, Will Myers. The wind of the pitch. And that's outside. Well, these Reds doing a great job, Boog, of just waiting for the right pitch to come their way. And I'm seeing very patient at bats out of them. He's only given up one run, but the starter's pitch count is starting to get up there, and that might be the best news yet for this offense. Harrison fires over to first. One up, one down. And now the designated hitter for the Reds, T.J. Friedel. They say you win. Next pitch misses. One ball, one strike. In the air, left field, down the line. Schwarber puts it away, two away down. Now back, left field. So up next, Nick Solak. One for one with a single and a run scored so far. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Two outs. Up the middle. Over to first. Play made. That ends the inning. Nobody left for Cincinnati. And our score remains 2-1. Ready now for the fifth inning. Now at the plate, Bryce Harper. Certainly you'd say Bryce Harper's signature moment, game five of the National League Championship Series in 2022. That opposite field home run that put the Phillies ahead and would send them to the World Series of the Padres' Robert Suarez. Sharp grounder, that's through for a base hit. He was all now over that, that one. I know that was a ground ball, but it was absolutely hammered through the infield. That's not one you're excited to get in front of if you're an infielder. You know they used to say, charge it. Crazy. And digging in for Philadelphia, Kyle Schwarber. First pitch, and he just misses. Well, these Phillies, simply put, are producing a lot of quality swings. We've heard lots of loud noise coming from their bats in this one, haven't we? I mean, they've logged six hits at 90-plus exit velocity, and that doesn't happen by accident. That's towards center. Fairchild makes the play, and there's one away. And up to the plate is JT Real Muto. It's interesting he plays kind of a, a power spot defensively, but runs pretty well. So when you're looking at that position, you're not expecting someone that has maybe above average speed, but he does. And I think that skill set really upgrades the position because when you have that kind of speed, it makes the whole team that much better. That misses the zone, and it's 2-0. and The pitch. 
called strike, a sinker at the bottom of the zone. And that's a great take right there. Even though it's a strike, with the situation, runner on first base, you want to keep the ball off the ground. And you swing at that pitch, most likely you roll into a double play. The punch out there, and he's down on strikes for the second time today. Nick Castellanos at the plate now. Designated hitter, Nick Castellanos. Worm burner into the outfield for a knock. They stop the lead runner at second. Now two on with two outs. These guys today are so great with handling velocity. They're seeing high speeds day after day and a nice job of turning that one around. First and second, two down. And it's Reese Hoskins up to the dish. He's already homered in this game. Swing and a ground ball out to short. To second, India. And that is that. Knock, knock on my door. Back here at the ballpark, here's the third baseman, Spencer Steer. Third baseman. Suarez back to work. There's a strike. All ones the count. Bounce to the right. Tosses the first, and the leadoff hitter retired in the fifth. Good sinker low in the zone right there and produced exactly what he was looking for. Ball on the ground, nice ground out. So digging in, Stuart Fairchild worked to walk in his first trip to the plate. He's someone that you might not describe as having elite level speed, but he can absolutely move, and it is a factor in his game. They say you win. Boog, this guy's definitely a plus runner, but what I love about him is that he goes all out every single time, never takes a break. It's guys like that, even though they don't have the elite speed, the fact that they're consistent with it, they make moves on the base paths. The next offering misses, and it's a ball to strike. Next offering is downstairs. Well, on the mound, very efficient. Able to produce an outcome, it seems like, within the third or fourth pitch of just about every at-bat. Next offering is down low. And here it comes. And now the count filled up three and two. And that's ball four. What a battle. It's not always easy laying off a 3-2 pitch. And I'll tell you what, he earned that walk. The batter now, Kevin Newman. One's in there, 0 and 1. Kicks and fires. And a foul ball left side. With two strikes. May see some movement over there at first base. Try to stay out of a double play here. Here's the 0-2. And now one and two. Well, with the amount of pitches that can end up in the dirt, a good secondary lead doesn't have to get away from the catcher, but if you're anticipating, based off the trajectory, get yourself into scoring position. Fairchild stands at first with one out. Step off throw to first, and he's back in easily.
Back over to first. And he's back in that time as well. Again to first. And no luck this time either. Way inside, gets out of the way. Now snap throw to first. Fairchild, back easily. Here comes a pitch. Just off the outside part of the plate. So here we go. Base runner at first. Could be running on the pitch. He's got good enough. Suarez. Keeping him close. The pitch. This to center field. And that'll fall for a base hit. The throw to third. Not in time. He's safe. Showed a lot of fight with two strikes in that A-B. These days, most outfielders play pretty deep, and I'm not sure if that was a factor there or not, but off the bat, you're thinking it's going to be a pop-out, and it just kind of nestled into that spot where no one was able to get to it. Now a pretty big at-bat coming up with a chance to even this ball game up. And now, Jonathan India. And first offering is fouled off. Two on, one out. Swing and a miss. That is strike two. At the dish, looking to lift the ball in the air in this spot. Anything but the inning, inning double play, boo. pitch swing and a miss and he struck him out to gone well this is where the team aspect really comes into play on the offensive side of the game right i mean missed opportunity to tie it up with the runner at third and one out couldn't put the ball in play so now it's time to pick him up and that's where good teams they go to they operate on this level of next man up that mentality is what causes them to win series get into the postseason that helps keep the energy and morale high in the dugout and now, Tyler Stevenson misses off the inside, 1-0. and oh. Here's a strike. One one. Ground ball to the right side. Down the line, and it's foul. Cuts and misses. It's a strikeout. Well, this guy competes hard. We see the emotion there. I love it. Great job of getting out of the jam. We're back, and they make a change to start the sixth. The new pitcher, Joel Cunell. Pretty tight game, so they're looking for quality pitches out of him right here. Got to do his best to keep the score right where it is. Well, one run game. Josh Harrison stands in for the Phillies. And he deals. And ball one, Harrison, a former All-Star, 35 years old, and he was a sixth round draft pick back in 2008. And there's the strike.
Righty delivers. There's the swing and a miss. Got it by him for the K. Well, that's always the key to effective pitching is getting ahead in the count. And as a pitcher, it really allows you to start expanding the zone. Guys become defensive, and all of a sudden, for the hitter, that plate starts to get really wide. And what happens is, because of the pressure, you end up committing to a pitch as a batter before you recognize what it is, and that's what leads to the strikeout. And first offering is fouled off. The pitch. The Cincinnati bullpen has some movement. Ian Jabot up and throwing. Right-handed reliever. Swing and a ball lifted left field. Solak snags it for the second out. As good as he's seeing the ball out of the pitcher's hand, you now cannot back. hang a breaking ball right there. Lucky it stayed in the ballpark. And now for the Phillies, Alec Bohm. And first offering is fouled off. And a foul ball. Got him. And good work there as he gets a one, two, three. Nothing across here this half. To the bottom of the six we go. Four, five, six coming up. It's the Phillies two and the Reds one. Bottom of the six. Now the Reds cleanup hitter, Joey Votto. Votto, more than 2,000 hits in his career. Can't forget to mention he's a former MVP. And a pitch. Good eye right there. Movement in the bullpen. Gregory Soto, the left-hander, up and throwing. Strom, warming up as well. Right side, Toskins handles the chance, tosses to the pitcher covering the bag. And that's one out as they get the leadoff hitter in the sixth. Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out of the air, lets the defense work behind him with another ground ball. Good execution. Next for Cincinnati, Will Myers. First offering, misses the mark. Myers goes six feet, three inches, 205 pounds. He joined the team as a free agent. Next offering is in for a strike. And now the lefty on the ground, right side. Fires over to Hoskins. And a couple of quick outs. Now that's the designated hitter, TJ. Now it's the DH, TJ Friedel. One for two. No, Next pitch down. downstairs, and it's one to know. Oh, he's got to be pretty proud of this outing so far. Sometimes guys cower coming into a ballpark like this, but he is attacked hitters. Pitching on the road like this is very impressive. This has Oop. been a treat to watch. Two and old to Cal. Here it comes. Nope. And that one cutting but missing Three down low. Three. Nick Solak. In the on-deck circle, hoping to get a chance to make a big impact here. The wind of the pitch. And a four-pitch walk. 
four pitches. That's an easy walk, man. He could have walked me right there, Boo. The last one wasn't even close. Runner at first with two away. And ready to hit now for Cincinnati, Nick Solak. Now fly ball to right center. Harper pulls it in on the run. Reds leave one, and they trail it here, two to one. On the mound now, Buck Farmer. They know that he can get a right-hander out, but he's in position to face a couple of lefties this inning. And now the center fielder, Brandon Jordan. This guy has turned into a beast. And a pitch. And that gets the top of the zone for a strike. They always say it's the best pitch in baseball, strike one. You get ahead on a good hitter as well. He's a little bit more confidence to move to the at-bat. And he'll one. And a foul ball. The 0-2. And down on strikes. And there's one away. Well, big power guy right there and generating so much bat speed. It's hard to bring that to a halt once you've committed. They tried to check the swing, just couldn't do it. Harper in the box now. No balls in a strike. Late in the game, everyone gets a little tighter. Way to get ahead on a really good hitter right there. And the righty deals. Fought off foul. Left hand batter waits. Swings through it and that's a strikeout. Chance to strike out the side now. You talk about the benefits, the advantages of relievers who can come in and get the swing and miss, whether it's inherited runners or maybe a little jam that they get into themselves. Knowing that they can miss the bat, tell you what, that's huge and can change the ball game. Hard hit left side, and that's a fair ball. Now he'll turn for second. The throw in, but he's in there easily. Love how he let that ball travel, trusted his hands. Nice job of going the other way. <laughs> JT Real Muto steps in, known for his rocket arm behind the plate. Real Muto tries to hold up, appeal to first. Yes, he did. That's a swing. Two outs and one in scoring position. Next one off the plate inside, and that's ball one. That's in there. Got him looking. And the inning is over. Philly strand one. They lead it 2 1. Gregory Soto into the game. A chance at his first save of the year. Your attention, please. Now pitching for Philadelphia. Number 30, Gregory Soto. In now for the Reds, Spencer Steer. The why to kick the pitch. And he takes a strike. Getting a little frustrated with the strike zone. Looking to get the tying run on base. Turned on, but foul wide of third. Next one is off the plate. Now one and two. The 
pitch. Ah, that hit him. And the leadoff man is aboard to start the inning. That really wasn't a bad pitch at all, but hitters these days just aren't afraid to get up on top of the plate. No outs, runner at first. Here's the center fielder, Stuart Fairchild. That one ripped, but foul. If you're a base runner, you've got to stay dialed in here. Look for anything in the dirt. Try your best to get in the scoring position. Kicks and deals. And strike two. Cold night like tonight. Last thing you want to do as a hitter is get jammed or even off the end. Trying to find that sweet spot on the bat. I'll tell you what, you're going to be trying to catch things out front. So off-speed pitches may be a good complement to that fastball. And in and he gets out of the way. Straighten him up a little bit. On a line. And that's a base hit. Schwarber fires it in quickly. And two on now as they try to rally here. Couldn't have timed it up any better than that. And man, I'll tell you, a line drive like that into the gap just feels so good it's feedback that you had everything on time and in control from start to finish with your swing now we'll see if they can pick up that tie and run and start us over here in the late innings now here is kevin newman check swing appeal to first and he won around just enough that time and a pitch he swings and fouls one off Pitches downstairs. Yeah, that's too high. Just not taking the bait right there, but a good pitch with two strikes. This to third. Boom. Toss to second. How about that double play? Connor Brogdon will take over here. He's been so good against lefties. Jonathan India, the next to hit for the Reds. Pitch is in there. Strike one. So after the double play, he's trying to pick up his teammate and tie this game. The tying run is 90 feet away. In the air to left center. Schwarber brings it in, and that ends the inning. So one left for Cincinnati. They're down two to one. So a new arm out of the bullpen for the Reds, Ian Jabot. He has a great slider with tons of movement. Here's the Phillies DH, Nick Castellanos, one for three. And the pitch. That misses the zone. Ball one. Just missed. The 2-0 is in for a strike. Nasty 2-0 slider there for a strike. That tells you he's got a lot of confidence in that pitch. Yeah, the 2-1 hammered but foul.
Hit in the air, right field. Myers gets under it. One down. Now batting the first baseman. Reese. So digging in now for Philadelphia, Reese Hoskins. He launched this solo shot back in the second inning of this one. Yeah, that was big for these guys early on. Definitely helped them get off onto the right foot. First pitch, just misses. Activity in the bullpen for the Reds. T.J. Antone loosening up for manager David Bell. The wind of the pitch. And there's a ball. Swing and a miss. As he was out front that time. That misses. And the count is three and one. At this point in the game, you cannot issue free passes. He's going to have to challenge this hitter. Hitter's got to be ready to swing it. Inside three and two the count. Battling here as he fouls it away. Three and two now. And there's ball four. How big a deal is that walk? I don't think it's a big deal because if you pitch to the previous hitter with the power he has, he can hit a home run. I think it was a calculated walk. We'll see how it pays off here. Harrison now in the box comes up empty with a swing there Hoskins the base runner at first with one out foul ball there and he'll two and a good eye there a good take. Popped up. India sizes this one up. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. Two down. The batter, number seven. Short one. Trey Turner. So the lineup flips over. Here's Trey Turner. And a good fastball to start him off. That's strike one. And there's a foul ball. Got him swinging. That's out number three. One left for Philadelphia as they're unable to add to their 2-1 lead. So they turn to the lefty in this spot, Jose Alvarado. He's making his second appearance of the season. Now for the Number 46. Here's the Reds catcher, Tyler Stevenson. Corner infielders guarding the lines, trying to prevent extra bases. Here comes a pinch. And he pumps it a strike. on a line 
Harper makes the grab one down. Fell off the bat, it looked like they might get that tie-in run on base, maybe even extra bases. No dice though, a little unlucky on that one. And here's the first baseman, Joey Votto. Corner infielders guarding the lines, trying to prevent extra bases. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Well, that's really the money spot, down and away. If you can locate that consistently, it's going to be real tough for guys to square that up. That's what you love to see relievers do coming out of that bullpen. Next offering is in for a strike. Got him swinging. Yeah, left-handed batter facing a left-handed pitcher that's got some sink like that at the end. It's just the bottom falls out of it, but it looks like it's going to be a pretty good pitch in that location that everyone says lefties love. Now it's the right fielder, Will Myers. And that's outside. The lefty to 1-0. And a big swing and a miss. One and one. Swings through that. Very solid <laughs> inning on the mound so far here in the eighth. Holding on to this narrow lead. This is exactly what they were looking for. The tying run at the plate. <laughs> Now this is in the air down the line. Schwarber in pursuit. Makes the grab on the run. And that is that. We're back. It's the top of the night. And there's a new pitcher on the mound. T.J. Antone. He's making his fourth appearance of the season. Alec Bull now at the plate. Struck out on just three pitches last time. Antone, the tall righty, 29 years old, and he was a fifth-round pick no. back in 2014. No. Righty to the plate. Liner, base hit. Man aboard on the leadoff single. Oh, this has been a really nice game at the plate for him. He looks locked in. You'll often hear the phrase, short to it, long through it, and that's a great example of it right there. Got the barrel in the hitting zone early, squared it up with the well-timed swing, and came away with a beautiful line drive in the center field. Man at first, and now Brandon Jordan. He's got the power, but great contact skills. One of the best contact hitters in the game. First pitch, not close. Bullpen activity starting up now. Lucas Sims loosening up for manager David Bell. Crowd locked in right now. One run game here in the ninth. In the dirt, squirts away from Stevenson. You know, sometimes it takes a reliever a little time to get comfortable with the mound out there, especially when they come in trying to be nasty with every pitch they throw. Not exactly what they were looking for when they called him in, though. We'll see if he can settle down. Down. Runner leads away at second. That one ran inside, almost got him. Hitter's got some good opposite field power. 
What I like about something being hit to the right side into the outfield is that the base runner at second has a very good read and can determine whether or not he can score on that base hit. That just missed. He walked him on four pitches. His ability to draw walks has the been right something that's been part of his right. career since day one. Harper. And now here is Harper. Looking for some insurance. Or as our friends down in the South would say, insurance. No matter how you say it, we know what you mean. And that's in there for strike one. Really good job in this spot to get ahead in the count. He's going to have to continue, finish off this hitter. One run game here in the top of the ninth. Next pitch inside. And yeah, the count even one and one. Ground ball, left side. Goes to second, safe there. No play, that's an infield single. Now batting, the left fielder, Kyle. Kyle Schwarber stands in for the Phillies. Oh. That misses the zone, and that's ball oh, one. No and a strikeout. And you need a ball perhaps on the ground for a double play or get yourself a pop-up, something. But you've got to make some pitches. But if he can battle and get through this, he can earn some points. Next offering is in for a strike. And that one is inside. Look, in situations like these, the air can get really thin up there at the plate. Got to find a way to breathe and slow everything down. Right-hander kicks, deals. Just missed. And a 3-1 on the way. And that's in for a strike. Got him looking. And a big sigh of relief from the mound with that called third strike. So he needed a strike out there, and he got it. And now we'll see how they play it defensively. Yeah, now they can move the middle infielders back a little bit, get into double play depth, then look for a ground ball and roll it up, get a big double play, get out of this inning. I tell you what, that was a big strikeout in a spot where they really needed one. Real Muto in the box now, takes strike one. Tough situation right here. So important as a pitcher to get ahead in the count as he did right there. pitch ground ball left side could be two to second that's one Ow! the double play ends the inning and might have saved the game for them just trying to sneak one through with the bases loaded but an excellent job by the defense to turn that one and get out of this jam Chris Sir Anthony Dominguez is checked into the game. And he's had three days off since he pitched last, so expect him to be totally rested. I'm sure he's itching for this opportunity right now. T.J. Friedel getting ready to hit. Corner infielders guarding the lines, trying to prevent extra bases. And he deals. That clips a corner. And he butts, but that's a foul ball. Oh, and two now. Good job to fight that one off. Swing and a miss. He struck him out. Gassed it right by him. 
Well, I love to see guys compete, and I know he's frustrated that he wasn't able to do anything with that pitch. You see it so well, but you have to respect the upper 90s velocity, and it is hard to catch up to. Pitch hitter coming on, Jake Fraley. Looking to start something with one gone. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Home team down a run here in the last half of inning number nine. At the belt and fires. And that's outside. Now two balls and a strike. Well, an interesting situation. One swing, you can tie up the ball game. But if you're patient and work a walk, then you bring the game-winning run to the plate. Swing and a miss, and now two and two. Just amazing to me how many closers and back-end relievers just throw absolute gas these days. I never would have had a chance. Kicks and fires. Foul ball, another 2-2 upcoming. Got him! Back-to-back -back strikeouts. This is definitely what a team likes to see out of their closer. Come in and just destroy all hope. First two batters, two strikeouts. See if he can strike out the side. Big spot here, bottom of the ninth, down to their final out. Next for Cincinnati, Spencer Steer. And first offering is fouled off. A one-run lead, and the home team trying to pull it out. Strike two. Ahead 0-2 in the count. Sure, you've got four pitches you can work with, but throw something you can command and get this at bat over with as quickly as possible. Is just one strike away. And downstairs. That turns out to be a really good take right there, but you don't want to end this game with the bat on your shoulder. One and two now. Fastball almost got him there. The idea was right. Looking to locate that fastball up and in. He just missed his spot a little bit. The two-two now. Got him! And that's the ball game. These guys know they have a long series ahead of them, but they come out, establish, and set the tone in the first game of the series. Very important to get that. Put you in the driver's seat to win game two and then push yourself to a series win, if not a sweep. And your final score here today, 2-1. For Chris Singleton and our entire crew, I'm John Chomby saying so long.